Hello, my name is Whitney. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. Um, this is all about a trip that me and my husband prepare to be confused and bored while I voice over my voice over. In January so 2024, it was just me and him. It was one of the best trips or vacations that I've had in my entire life. I love the Virgin Islands. Uh, we love this place. It holds a special place. Amazing. A special spot in our heart. Yeah, bless you. It's like it's actually January 2023, not 2024. Or maybe I'm just a time traveler. <laughs> got a little living room area and I'm pumped too because it's got a little workout bike which I like to get up and lies walk I never got on that bike Point once Pleasant in the morning maybe do a little yoga out there but if I want some more cardio I could hop on this bike or if it's like raining girl stop you're and not getting on that here's bike here's the bedroom I went ahead and hung up all my stuff in the closet it's about time There's you hung bathroom. up something why is it not hung up at home? Kitchen table, um, a bar in the kitchen that you can sit at. I love this bush outside the window too. Cause yeah, I love bushes. <laughs> so kitchen, went ahead and ordered some snacks off Amazon and sunblock, which is over there. Um, I got some groceries delivered. Groceries are super expensive, so I didn't get much. But I got some stuff to cook. I got uh, two and a half dozen eggs, cheese, lunch meat, bacon, some beverages, creamer for my coffee. I actually packed my own coffee. Uh, grapes. I got some waffles and some syrup. I'll probably be making all of our breakfast and probably just make a few of our lunches. That's cute, the tile. Here's the bathroom. So we originally had rented a different uh, unit. We had rented E8, but they uh, left us a voicemail and said it was down for maintenance or something. So they said, this is, oh, they said this is a free upgrade, so it's a bigger unit with, the other one had a wraparound porch and all these have um, ocean views, but this one's closer to the water. Let me show you this lovely balcony. So I've been up since 4 a.m no makeup today i think i'm finally gonna put in my contacts though and go swimming but i'm tired you tired babe no he's not tired he sleeps on the plane i'm wide awake Who was that? uh kiara i think i'm about to text her back she's probably just texting about the tornado uh warning there was a tornado warning and storm when we were crabbing. flying we scared the shit out of me nobody's here right now but everyone was fine us. hey babe the sun's gonna set here in about an hour sun sets around six because yeah i'm a meteorologist meteorologist awesome. i'm also an astronomist How beautiful. Here's just some random photos of different spots at the resort. It's a really so beautiful is place. Off of our room. And then here's looking into the room. Oh, you just see the reflection of the water. So it's a little overcast right now. It's kind of been raining on and off today. Still beautiful. This view from the kitchen, and it's night. It's like the sun's setting. It is, the sun's not even shining, and it's still it's so freaking pretty. I'm so incredibly grateful and thankful to be here.
So this was our first day after, well, our second full day, I guess, our first full day. And we was at a place called Koki Beach, which we could walk to from Point Pleasant. Yeah, because I'm a geographer too. Geographer. So I would get up every morning and watch the sunrise and drink my cup of coffee out on the porch. Beautiful. So on this particular day, we did a, a food and cultural walking tour and it was super informative and it was great because I really wanted to know more about the downtown area, like just outside of the little shopping district and I hadn't really seen or toured that before. So uh, definitely highly recommend that. Plus we got to taste a lot of great food and, and beverages too. Our tour guide, Jane, was the absolute sweetest. Um, she took these pictures of us. She even told us about how to get to Water Island later on. Oh, look at that beautiful chapter. Yeah. And the bug, there's like these little bugs in there. All right, so look. Drive in the gate and drop you as close to Tickles as you can. Okay. Walk down the ramp. And a tickles is a little ferry boat on the That's dock. right, she it's said tickles, y'all. Jump in the tickles. ferry boat, pay the man your money, get a return ticket. Within 10 minutes, you'll be on Water Island. All right. So I didn't even know about Water Island. It was awesome. Oh, yeah, UK and Tennessee were playing. So we caught a little bit of the game while we waited for the ferry boat. And then this is Water Island. Go Cats. This was my fifth time at St. Thomas and then this is something I did not know about that it existed. So um, you catch a ferry, go over here. There's a restaurant to eat. It was chill, it was nice. So here we're just back at the resort and then we walk over to Wyndham's Margaritaville, which for some reason we was loving that restaurant this time. Um, we like went there almost I don't know like almost every day like we probably ate there like three times yeah, maybe. plus I think this footage is actually from the morning not the evening time traveling again we ordered the wings twice yeah they were fire Did I just go in the water with shoes on? I think I did. It's okay. You guys, there's a scene right out there. Do you see it? Put this video shows up. It's like Oh. 
And here's another dump of random resort photos. Those are just the views. See all them people on that boat. <laughs> and they got a phone. <laughs> and i think these are out of order but if you made it this far i'm sure you don't care what order these photos are in uh more pictures of the resort oh and i think this is when we was going to st john maybe yeah that's what it looks like yeah i think it's what what was happening we went to st john took a ferry I think this beach is called Maho, maybe. Yeah, that's where we hit our stuff last week. Underneath the field here. The old workout. Random fact, hermit crabs love there chocolate. There you go. My phone. On the first day I got here, I toasted the phone. We tore these nachos and hot dog up. They did not stand a chance. Delicious, 10 out of 10. And then next we're at this place called The Windmill. They had pretty good beer cheese. And the view from up on the mountain is divine. Is this a mountain or a rock? Now I'm a geologist. And it wasn't beer cheese, it was buffalo chicken dip. <laughs> Buffalo chicken dip. So good. We ate here the last night. It was pretty good. Yum yum. Our flight went until later and this beach right here is right next to the airport. Like you could walk to the airport. I think we did walk to the airport from here. So I got to dip in the water one last time before boarding the plane and going through customs. Well, going through customs then boarding the plane. Oh, did y'all see the plane in the background? Right there. Look, look, look. Yeah, right there. Snacks for the plane, because duh, why would I not take all my leftover snacks? Winning, hashtag, with the snacks, hashtag winning. I think I brought snacks back to the girls. Yeah, I think they got those cookies. And here we're taking off, so sad. like subscribe give me a thumbs up also comment and let me know if you want me to post the video from when we took the girls to st thomas in summer 2022